What's up guys? Here's my Dell Dimension 2400. It's got one gig of RAM. Everything else is stock. And I'm running Windows 7 Home Premium. I know a lot of people are having problems with this. It's simply the graphics card. It's not compatible. Dell didn't release one, but there's a way around this and I'm gonna show you how to do this. First, open up your browser. Yeah, yeah, it's not the fastest. What do you expect? <laughs> anyway, once you do that, just type in um, how to install Windows 7 on Dell Dimension 2400. And when you do that, you're going to get the first link. Let me see. I don't feel like typing that in because I'm trying to hold my phone. Okay, this, when you type it in, if you're on Google, it should be the first link that comes up. See it right here. Click on that. And it's going to take you to this fucking website, or actually it's a blog or whatever. Come on, man, what's up? Alright. Just read this quick little article. It'll explain to you what you have to do, which is really a no-brainer. It doesn't take a rocket scientist to figure this out. But uh, right here I have a link to the young graphics card and for the sound card. Now, I already downloaded the graphics card. So, I'll give you an example of what you got to do. Let me go to my downloads. Oh, shit, where is it? I think I deleted it. Fuck. All right, that's okay. Ah. All right, let's, do, let's try this again. Restore previous session. All right, so anyway, when you get here... Come on. When you get here, click on the link for the graphics card. Download it, obviously. Now, what you want to do after you download it, don't open it up yet. Let it download. Come on. There you go. Okay. After you're done downloading this driver, This is really important. If you don't do this, it's not going to work. Now, you want to do this for the uh, sound driver as well. All right, right click on it, go to properties. Now, right here where it says compatibility, you want to run it in XP Service Pack 2. I'm a, I already have it, so it's not really giving me the option to change it. It's already installed, but when you get it, like I said, click on here, run this program in compatibility mode for, and then select Windows XP Service Pack 2. Leave all these blank, then you want to click this one as well, run this program as administrator. And if you want to change all settings for the users, you can do that. You click on it, and you're going to just repeat the process, do the same thing over again, blah, blah, blah. Okay, now the tricky part is when you first do this, the resolution is going to be shitty, right? So this is actually going to be where it says OK and apply. This is going to be down here like this. And you're not going to be able to get to it with your mouse, so you have to use your keyboard to select it. All right, and once you do that, after you're done with that, you just um, open the driver and run it like you normally do. And then reboot, and that's it. And you should have on full resolution, like you see here. And you're going to do the same thing for the um, sound card, sound driver. And that's it. So, yeah. Just so you can see that this is not a hoax. Hold on, I'm using my cell phone. Come on, focus. There you go. Oh, I thought it would say the name. I thought it would say Dell or whatever. But anyway, yeah, it is my Dell 2400. I ain't bullshitting you. So, yep, that's how you do it, man. Good luck.